Hello there, friends and followers, and welcome to this episode one of the Fly Like a Pro series. In this series, we are going to be examining three flight sim gear units provided to me by Virtual Fly. In episode one, we are going to be taking a look at the TQ6. The TQ6 is Virtual Fly's throttle quadrant. We are going to be unboxing the unit, mounting the unit on a desk, and configuring the unit in X-Plane 11. Without further ado, let us begin. So we are going to begin by unpacking the TQ6 by Virtual Fly. And this is the throttle quadrant. Let's see here. Very nicely packed. There we go. Wow. This is an old metal construction here. This is the Allen key. I guess this is for mounting the unit on a table. Look at that. Wow. Yep, this is for uh, the piece to mount the unit um, on a table. Again, all metal construction. Very, very good material. Nice uh, coating as well. Beautiful. And this is now the actual unit. Just look at that. Look at those um, levers. Beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. Let's take a look here. And this is the USB. Uh, it's of, uh, I think, um, suitable length. Uh, it should fit right there. This is the table where I'm gonna fit all the equipment. And so I need to start moving some things around. But let's take a closer look at the unit here. So this is a closer look at the uh, TQ6 by Virtual Fly. I really like those levers. Um, they are um, all metal construction, very, very well made. Uh, I'm really excited to try those on. This is, of course, the power. Uh, and then you've got your props here. So this is prop RPM. And these are actually not plastic. These are all metal, uh, nicely painted. Very nice, and this is the mixture. Very nice indeed. This The whole unit is, is actually a metal construction. You can adjust, those are the knobs to adjust the, uh, how much uh, torque you need to apply there. So the tighter they are, the harder those um, levers are. But just look at the fine details, the print, and you can see from the inside then this is a very high quality unit. Very, very nice. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mount the unit um, and I'm gonna disconnect my existing throttle quadrant and use this one. Really excited to actually put it to the test and see how it actually um, work in the sim. And we're gonna configure it. Look at that, just really the bolts, the final finish really very high quality i have now mounted the tq6 unit um, on my desk and it's not the ideal spot on my desk i'm either going to have to find another desk or um, because i have quite a mess here you can see i have all kinds of things here um, so i'm going to probably have to find a uh, different spot but what i really like about this now that i you know i'm spending some time playing with it and um, this is actually, for example, this is the power uh, lever. If you move it all the way down, this is idle power, but if you push it further down, this is now reverse thrust, as you can see here, it says reverse. Uh, I can't really wait to see how this works in the sim. The same thing goes for the prop, so if you move them all the way and kind of push it down, that's the feather. Um, so really, really nice. Uh, 
the way it's been constructed is, uh, is, is very realistic, not just quality construction, but it's very realistic. It feels like the controls of a real um, turboprop. And then we've got the, uh, you know, the mixture, and again, you can move them all the way down here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and set things up in the sim. Let me bring up um, X-Plane, and we'll take a look at uh, how to configure those controls in X-Plane. All right, so we just started at X-Plane, and uh, as you can see, um, X-Plane has detected the Virtual Fly TQ6 Plus device. As you can see here, we have a total of six axes, and the device is currently not calibrated. So let's go and say calibrate now. And what we need to do is we need to move all the axis right there, right there. This is the power. Works perfectly. And the props, the mixture, that didn't work. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to need to do that again. Yeah, I need to repeat the axis number two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say cancel and I'm going to say calibrate again. Let's see if this one works. That's the power. That's the second power lever and props. That's the first one and the second one. And now we'll do the mixture. For some reason, the mixture has to be pushed all the way in to work. All right, that's fine. We'll see what we can do later. So this one here, um, this is the idle cutoff. Uh, this, so this is the cutoff um, position, um, but we can add response curves. All right, let's go ahead and say next. So now we're gonna start assigning some controls. So this is the throttle one and two. So this one is the right, okay? So we're gonna say throttle one, and this will be throttle two. And then this is the prop. So this is the left and this is the right. So this will be prop two. Um, prop two. And this will be prop one. There we go. Let's see now, yep, prop one, prop two, perfect. And now we're gonna do mixture. So we're gonna select mixture two and mixture one. All right, so we have all the controls now. It says multiple axes assigned to throttle one and two. Yeah, that's fine, we'll say done. So I had to make a few changes in order for things to work properly. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done. Uh, I had to add reverse access on the two mixture access as well as the props. The, uh, the throttles we can keep as they are. So everything is looking good now. Let's go ahead actually and try it. And this is by the way the Melvis um, Cessna 310. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove the oak here. Um, batteries and we're going to start the anti-collision light, nav lights, uh, magnetos are all on. Uh, mixture needs to be full rich. Oh, that's just beautiful. There we go. Props full forward. Not sure if this is the full position. Let me check. It is actually the full position. Okay, so things are great and throttles half an inch open. All right, and let's see here. Uh, what else do we need? All right, we can start the fuel on low and there we go. Turn the volume down. All right, so we have a good start there and a good start here. And let's see here. Taxi lights. All right, let me go ahead and release the parking brake and just play this a little bit. 
Oh yeah. And now we're gonna reduce props. Oh, that's just brilliant. Those controls are so nice, and they're actually pretty stable. The actual unit is very stable. Well, let me tell you, there's a lot of immersion that you get from using controls like that, um, as opposed to, uh, you know, the, uh, the keyboard or using the mouse to move the controls. Um, really, really nice. The one thing I probably would like to see in this unit is the following. So if we look at the actual unit, so here's the unit and this is X-Plane, all right? So what I would really like to see is if there was some kind of a switch that would just hold these together and you can turn it on or off, kind of similar to the, um, you know, other products where, you know, there is a switch that just holds the, those levers together. It would make moving them in exactly the same position a lot easier, but you know, this is, this is not a problem. Another nice feature of the TQ6 by Virtual Fly is the ability to mount it on the desk. So there are two configurations. One is where it extends from your desk outwards, and that's probably not a very um, suitable or practical uh, configuration for me because my desk is, is a very small space here. Um, so you can actually mount the unit on your desk, as you can see here now, it's been mounted there and the, um, the actual mount piece is here. Um, it's very simple to do. There are a couple of screws that you unscrew and you simply mount it on the desk. As you can see, it doesn't move. Pretty solid. And you can move the controls now in this fashion. Uh, brilliant feature. Before we bring this video to its conclusion, I wanted to extend my most sincere gratitude to Virtual Fly for providing me with those flight controls, namely the flight yoke, the rudder control, and the throttle quadrant. Now, it is very important for me to stress out the fact that the modus operandi for Virtual Fly was to provide me with those controls, they're for me to keep, um, and in return for me to make videos on the channel. My modus operandi has always been and always will be unbiased and fair reviews of anything that I review on this channel. Folks, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope that this was a fair review and an insightful uh, look at the TQ6 Throttle Quadrant by Virtual Fly. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.